Back to finish up our collard greens for mm -hmm. 2016 with yes. Lucy Greer. And tell the folks what we've done so far. Okay, we are almost to the finish line to getting these greens in the pot. We started out with a couple tablespoons of olive oil and we browned up six slices of bacon that we had just chopped up into small pieces. Then we added a half of a sweet onion, finely diced, and three cloves of garlic, just smashed, and we let those get nice and soft. And then we added a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes and and then we added a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a quarter cup of honey. And now all that's just kind of melted together. And now it's time to add our greens. Like I said, I'm using collard greens today in one of these nice bags of already cut and clean collard greens that I got out of our produce department. But of course, you could get in the produce department too a big bunch of greens that um, we get from local farmers. And you could clean them and chop them up yourself, but if you're in a hurry, you can get these. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have the ones that are shredded too. So these are just kind of in big pieces. And this is kind of like spinach. I mean, it's gonna cook down to nothing. Mm -hmm. um, this one 16 ounce bag, as you can see, we already have the finished product over there. Mm -hmm. and. I have a little bit on that plate, but it doesn't make a lot. So if you have a big family, then you probably want to buy a couple bags and do this. So I'm just going to put them in this pot. And also we're going to add now about a cup of chicken broth. And this is going to give us a little bit of extra flavor rather than just water. So we're going to add this and also a teaspoon of salt and we are going to bring it up to high and put the lid on so these can kind of wilt down. And once you get these to kind of come to a boil and wilt down and um, start to be able to stir everything together, then you're just gonna cook them on low heat for about two hours. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, they cook down and they're gonna be so wonderful and full of flavor for you. And bring you money in the new year. And hopefully bring you money <laughs> in the new year. But um, but you don't need too much money to shop with us. So that's one of the great things about um, our Greer's Cash Savers and all of our stores. You can still get the best quality mm -hmm. at the lowest price in the market. So if you haven't checked out um, any of our stores, you can go online and find all the locations. We have so many around here in all of the viewing areas, so now um, they're very convenient because everywhere you turn, there's another Greer's on every <laughs> corner. Joe is always <laughs> visiting some of our stores. Uh, I went to the one in Dolphin Island recently. Good, yep. good. So I like it when I come in and Joe says, I visited another one of your Greer's <laughs> stores. So um, thank you for everybody that's shopping out there. We mentioned before that Greer's is turning 100 this year, so we're going to be celebrating all of 2016. So we've been um, waiting for the new year to get here, and hopefully these greens will um, I'm going to kick off your new year and make you have a very successful year. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in. We truly appreciate you being here. Happy 2016 yes, thank you. to you. Happy uh, New Year's to everybody out there. This is a recipe you're surely going to want to make. It is online, the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. Smells great. Can't wait to try it out. Thanks, Lucy.